hello, hello, hello. It's me once again with a horror game, of course. Um, I'm not too proud of myself because I was reading a whole bunch of creepy pasta and now I'm kind of scared of everything. So, yeah, I knew I had to do something. So shit, here it is. One night to... I don't get it. There exists in the sleepy midwestern town of Black River an abandoned estate known as the locals do only as the beyond. Since it was built in the 1950s by famed historian Thomas Merstrom, no less than 12 people have vanished within its walls. To this day, no trace of them has been found. The citizens of Black River only speculate in hushed tones about what secrets that house may hold. One night, two. One, two. One night, two. Character select. John Faraday. John is an ex-police officer, turned private detective investigating recent disappearances involving people connected with the strange mansion. John is not skilled in problem-solving areas. His physical strength is above average. Sarah Wicks. Sarah is a horror writer gone dry. Needs a source of inspiration for her next novel. And this is the region she has come to, apparently haunted mansion known as the Beyond. Sarah's physical strength is only basic, but her intellect makes her able to pick up puzzle answers more easily. Sounds like the bitch just needs a scoop. This guy has a purpose. July 13th, 1987. And the door's locked. Hmm. I must have underestimated the strength of this wind. I'll admit, it's creepy though. Oh well, I'm sure there's a spare key somewhere in this old place. May as well look around. Use arrow keys to move to the character. I know this. Examine scenery with the inner key. You can access the sad screen with the escape key. You can toggle full screen view with alt enter key. Blood laying in front of you, dude. Investigate it. Doesn't look like I'm 
get this open with my bare hands. Best I just ignore it. God damn it, I can't do anything with my bare hands. There's a teddy bear. Duh, 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 duh. Oh no. Ugh. Fucking headphones. It wasn't the image, it was the noise. And then the image. Fuck <laughs> me. Let's get going, man. Bear, what are you doing? Fucking, I love you, Teddy Bear. <laughs> Don't. Fuck. I don't have a run button. Something tries to rape me. I'm fucked. I gotta go to piano. Piano room. Go, John. Go, Johnny. Let's break down the door again. 
team strength. I do this. I do this. Man. scared the hell out of me. What are you, what are you doing in this house? <laughs> I could ask you to save you. Especially since you've come running through the door. you just seen a ghost here first. My name's John. Came here to investigate some people who disappeared nearby. How long have you been here? I'm Sarah. I'm a writer. I thought it's been a night here for a little inspiration. I just got here now. You must be one of the ones that locked in the front door. The front door? Is it still open? We can get out that way. Whoa, settle down. The wind blew with sun. God. As soon as I stepped over the threshold. Kind of creepy, actually. What's the matter? I'm sure there's another way out. It's... There's something wrong with this island. We need to get out of here. Well, we still can. Yeah. It does feel a little off here, doesn't it? Yes. Look, I don't know how long you've been here or what you did so far, but I'm getting the feeling that there's one. Yeah. I got attacked by a teddy bear. I look around and try to think of story ideas. You need to calm down and try to find a way out of here. There should be a back door somewhere. Try to find that. Can't just wander around in here on your own. I just got attacked by a ditch. I would say teddy bear, but whatever. We need to find a way out of here. Hmm. So the room is the place we true. Well, I guess I'll keep my eye out for an exit while I look around. Try to stay safe. Break down that door. 